The coalition of United Political Parties is calling on President Muhammad Buhari to personally lead his presidential re-election campaign to demonstrate his fitness for the office of the president, while some political parties are rejecting a yet-to-be-released INEC guidelines. And the Senate President and the DG of the PDP presidential campaign, Kansu Bukola Saraki, says himself and his family are not safe and is alleging that the police inspector general is after his life. Plus, the APC presidential campaign has replied him on allegations of oil sector corruption, saying Nigerians should ignore Saraki's fairy tales. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Joaquin Balue in Lagos. What a Friday it is. Several stories just rolling in at the nick of a hour. But we'll bring you up to date with some of the stories we're following for you right here on the, the program. Check out our countdown clock right here on Channels Television. It is 37 days to the 2019 general elections and the opening of the fourth day of ballot, February. That's when we were expecting the elections to come. Well, let's begin now with some of the stories that we are following for you. The electoral umpire has given a deadline for the collection of permanent voter cards. So if you have not collected yours, this is a very important information. The commission today in a statement says there won't be any further collection after the 8th of February 2019. Uh, and they did say that from, 2000, uh, from the 21st of uh, January 2019, collection will cease from the different wards and will start at the local government areas. And afterwards, from the 21st of January 2019 up to the 8th of February, the collection will move to local government areas. And after the 8th of February, there will be no more collection until the end of the election. So let's give you an update on the situation surrounding the senator representing Kogi West, Dino Melaye. Members of his family uh, raised an alarm. They said that they're worried about the treatment of the lawmaker after he was removed from the police clinic uh, where he has been receiving treatment since last week to the DSS Medical Center in Abuja. The senator will emerge from his residence after eight days of police siege last week and was thereafter arrested had claimed he was not fit enough to stand trial and has been kept at the police medical facility in Abuja. He source close to the lawmaker to channel television that Senator Melaye has refused to be admitted at the DSS medical facility. They say they have not been told why he was removed from the police hospital because it does not have a case with the DSS. And while the police have confirmed to Channel Television that Senator Dino Melaye was indeed taken away from the police clinic to another government-owned medical facility after the senator and the police disagreed about his fitness to face trial. The police also told Channel TV that it has obtained a warrant to keep the senator in their custody from an FCTI court for 14 days, which started from Wednesday, the 9th of January 2019. The police have declared Senator Melaye wanted for alleged criminal conspiracy and attempted culpable homicide said to have been committed on the 9th, 19th of July 2018 in Kogi State. And uh, to one of the stories that will form part of our conversation tonight, the coalition of United Political Parties wants President Buhari to lead his campaign to demonstrate his fitness for the country's top job. The group, while addressing journalists in Abuja today, also warned the president to overhaul the nation's security architecture ahead of the 2019 general elections. And while a group, uh, some group of political parties are already agitated over the yet to be released. Uh, INEC guidelines for the 2019 election. The group said that they are not happy with INEC over what they describe as eight obnoxious clauses inserted into the election guidelines that will ruin the 20 elections, according to them. One of the clauses they are demanding retention of in 2011 and 2015, separate accreditation time and separate voting time to help for stall rigging with the presence of voters at a polling unit instead of INEC 20. 19 simultaneous accreditation and voting. Take a listen to the CUPP chairman. 
President Muhammad Wari, as indeed said Senator Bola Tinubu would do the campaigns on his behalf. We do hope we do hope that he was misquoted. Otherwise, Nigerians should simply ask him to step back from the contest and let his party put Tinubu forward as its candidate. President Buhari will go down as the first candidate in history to hire a proxy in a presidential contest. So there is an allegation, this time coming from the Senate president and the DG of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council, Bukola Saraki, at a press conference today. Dr. Bukola Saraki is saying that he's, he's not safe and the lives of his own family so not safe. In a press conference today, he did say that he alleged that the IG of police is after his life. Take a listen. The entire world should hold the IGP responsible if anything unto what happens to me, myself, my family in these days ahead. Do not forget that before now, this same IG has tried several tricks to implicate me in some criminal charges. First, they arrested some cultists and was about to compel them to claim they work for me. We exposed the trick early enough and the media pointed at the holes in his history, he quickly withdrew that. Later, they went on to offer robbery, case, politicized the investigation in order to rope me, which failed. In the process of forcing the suspect to implicate me, the prime suspect died in their custody. He has not succeeded with this plot. So who knows what else they may have up planned. But now that full campaign is about to start, I want to be going around campaigning in the rural areas. I want everybody to know that, that I will, they will hold IG responsible if anything happens to me. You did listen uh, to or you've heard about the interview with the Senate President and the DG of PDP Presidential Campaign Council with Channels Television, a one-on-one -on -one interview which we aired a few days ago. Well, the APC Presidential Campaign Council has replied to that, those allegations made by Dr. Saraki, and they're saying that Nigerians should ignore Saraki's fairy tales regarding the oil and gas sector. And this is a reaction coming from the APC Presidential Campaign Council, and I quote, the same Dr. Saraki who was in the seventh Senate and knows very well that in 2014, part of 2015, the PDP government that was in power was reporting to Nigerians daily PMS consumption of 35 to 40 million liters per day. In January 2014, for example, the average monthly consumption was 38 million liters per day. By January 2015, under the same government of PDP, they reported 36 million liters per day. And March 2015, the daily consumption reported by PDP government was 45 million liters per day while importing at levels above 80 million liters per day. They went further to say it is instructive to know that in his rush to indict the NNPC and the president, willy-nilly, the doc Dr. Bukolo Saraki forgot that a Senate committee was set up by him to investigate the intervention of NNPC in PMS imports. They went further to say that Nigerians should therefore ignore the tantrums of Dr. Bukola Saraki as it concerned the oil and gas sector.